Hey guys, in the video I have for you today, today is Sunday. This is a video I filmed last week. Um, I don't want to give away too much. It's an older carrier heat pump package unit. So uh, stay tuned. Here it comes. No ventilador, no está soplando. in the dirt. Let me see, the uh, capacitor for that is over here. Let's assume it's getting voltage. Let's see if it's hot. Not really. All right, none of these screws are coming out. This is frustrating. Do I have screws I can get out here? Finally. I can't get any panels off. All right, there's my dual capacitor. As you can see, it's a rather large one. Mm -hmm. 
I'd really like to be able to take that off. Oh look, there's a pad down there. Nothing there. There we go. Maybe I don't need to get that one off. We got no voltage. All right. Looks like I pulled my fan off when I did that. Let's take a look and see what it's supposed to be. Sixty and five. Common is going to be in the middle. That's going to be my five, and that's going to be my 60. But as I've said a hundred times before, that's not actually common, that's run. Capacitors are always between start and run. All right, let's put this over here on microfarads. Uh, 4.7 good enough to make it run and 60 I ain't gonna complain about that uh, All right, now we gotta make sure it's getting voltage. Mm -hmm. 
just wet or is it oily? That to me looks kind of oily. Yeah, that looks oily to me. Okay, what I'm gonna do is take the wire off the defrost control board that goes to the um, condenser fan motor. Put it right on the contactor and we're gonna see if it comes on. Needs a new motor. Mm -hmm. All right, before I even attempt a repair on this thing, I'm gonna do a leak search, most especially around that accumulator. Because it looks like it's got oil everywhere and it's been a common problem with it. So let's check it out. Alright, as I suspected, I got ooh, I got like eight bars on that. Another four. So we know the accumulator's leaking. Another five bars there. It's not just leaking, it's leaking bad. Y'all can see here my evaporator coil looks terrible. Man, I got three bars right there. Another two bars. Two bars. Yeah, we got leaks all over the place. Let's um it's time to condemn this. Alright, we have us a 1998 R22 three ton heat pump package unit. Alright. Let's attempt to put this back together. I hope that one turns into a change out. I'm pretty sure it's going to. The question is whether or not I get it or not. So um, keep your fingers crossed. Still a little bit hard for me to do from my uh, busted up knuckle, but uh, I'm healing up good. And thanks for all the well wishes from those that did so. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you on the next one.